Okay, in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to large dice, small dice, and medium dice of an onion in the proper setup of a cutting board and also your station. Very important that we have a clean, very secure surface to work on. Uh, we have these great cutting boards which have the little rubber feet on the end that allow us to have a secure cutting board. If you don't have a cutting board like that, then just place a wet towel underneath your cutting board and that will secure it. We also want to ensure that we have kind of our knives um, and equipment on a little towel, that's just a little safety measure that keeps the, the knife from falling off the table. We want to ensure that our knives are clean and sharpened. Here I am just sharpening the knife on a steel, about a 40 degree angle. Very critical that you go one way on the one end of the knife and then the other way. So you get both sides of the knife sharpened quickly. You can also stand your steel up on your cutting board and pull your knife towards you at the same angle. Again, the more critical point here is that you are sharpening both sides of the knife evenly. Once we have our station set up, which would include a container that has your raw vegetables in it, then we want to have a container for our waste. Any type of container will work. In this case, I'm just using a little pie pan. And that will ensure that we have a nice clean work area, keep all of our uh, fruits and vegetables and equipment out of that. In this case, we're going to be weighing our waste. Um, and here you just want to have a scale set up with a little container to hold your waste. Critical thing here to remember is that you want to, uh, after you turn on your scale, you want to account for the weight of the actual cup. So when you place the cup on there, then you want to hit tear, T-A-R-E, you basically hit the on button twice and that will account for the waste or the, the weight of the cup. Once you feel like you have everything set, then you can begin cutting. Now in this case, we're going to use these great little um, uh, cutting tools that help us visualize the sizes. Large dice, medium dice, small dice, and then our Batonet, Julianne, and Fine Julianne, as, and also the Brinoise and Mints. This is a great tool to help you visualize the actual cut that you're going to be Determining. So now we're going to start with a large dice of an onion. The important thing to remember when you're doing any kind of knife cuts is the waste. So here when I cut this onion, I want to be very, make sure I'm on the end of the, end of the onion. I want to make sure the tip of my knife is past the onion and not in the middle of the onion. So that when I go forward and down, it creates a nice little cut. Also, I like to leave a little tag end on right there. I don't cut the whole way through it. I'm going to peel the onion back, and that's going to start to already begin to peel the outer covering from the onion. If you cut the whole way through it, like that, it just makes it very difficult to start to peel the onion. So that little tag end gives you a little place where you can stick the corner of the knife, and using your thumb, you can begin to peel your onion. Again, being very cognizant of the amount of waste. When cutting large, uh, when you're doing a bunch of onions, it's a really good idea to peel all your onions at one time, cut them all at one time. It makes it a lot easier. So here, I'm just going to take the waste and we'll weigh that so that we can get a yield percent to the amount of um, edible product from when we already purchased the product. And now we're just going to take our onion and we're going to cut our onion in half after we peel the rest of the onion. Again, do this as a, it's a very time, uh, time saving step. By peeling all your onions at the same time, your hands are moving in the same directions. Uh, it is a lot more efficient to peel all your onions at one time then go back and cut them all in half at one time and then proceed with the cuts. It is inefficient to take an onion and cut one of them and then dice the whole thing and then do the next one. Again, very important waste. In culinary arts, we want to reduce the amount of waste as possible. If an onion is giving you difficulty, you may have to put your hands down and um, you know, use both hands to peel it. 
just be very careful that the hand that you're using to hold your knife it is very dry and that you don't slip off of it. Keeping a clean, neat cutting board is a very important component to your knife skills. Notice that I have a lot of space on my cutting board. I am moving things away so that nothing is in my way when I go to cut these onions. And now we're going to demonstrate the large dice. Typically this is used for stocks. This is something that you would probably never really serve to a customer just because the cut is so large. But it's basically for maybe large braising, long time cooking processes, and stocks. Remember, the tip of the knife should be past your food so that when you start the forward cut, you don't ram it into the food. You start past it. And remember, a slight increase in the angle of the cut, do not start with your knife blade flat. And then you want to go forward first, and then you're going to apply pressure at the same time. Your guiding hand, you want to make sure that your fingers are tucked underneath and that your pinky and thumb are tucked behind your hand so that there is no way to actually cut yourself. As a matter of fact, I use my knuckle to ensure that I will, won't cut myself by keeping my fingers tucked behind them. Once you have your fingers properly placed, you're going to go forward and down at the same time. Forward and down in one smooth, simple stroke. See an onion has a core at the bottom. We want to keep that core together. A little trick there is the whiter part of the onion is where the core is. The greener part of the onion on top is where it will shoot up from the ground. So you Now I've placed my onion on the cutting board. For a large dice, you do not have to do the horizontal slices, depending on the size of your onion. So in this case, I'm just going to make my vertical cuts. For a large dice, it is three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch to be a perfect square. And you want to ensure that all of your knife cuts are even. And they should match up to the size that you're actually cutting. Once I make my vertical slices, then I'll take the other onion and do the same concept, cutting the whole way through this time for a large dice. Notice again, finger placement. And very simply, you can make a large dice of an onion with two to three cuts per onion. Notice cleanliness of the cutting board, the space in front that I'm working in is clean, neat, and organized. For the second demonstration, we're going to do a medium dice onion. Again, I'm cutting into the root. I'm going to cut my onion basically in half. I want to remove my hand off of the cutting board to instill that my knife is flat and not angled. You do not want to have an angled cut. You want your knife to be as flat as possible by moving it to the end of the cutting board and moving your onion down. That will ensure that. Also, on top of my fingers, if you notice, I'm not, I'm not going to push very hard. I just want that onion to stay in, sh in place and without pushing very hard on top. Then, I'm just using a sawing motion. I don't cut into the onion right away. I get used to it. And I'm going to apply the pressure at the right row moment, which is now. Now. You want to cut almost the whole way through it, but you want to leave a little bit there, and you always want to ensure that it's an even cut. Again, I'm going to use my cutting aid to help me figure out on a medium dice, which is one half of an inch by a half by a half. And at the beginning, it's not a bad idea to line up your cuts before you start. 
Now notice on this onion, I'm not going to cut the whole way through it like I did on the large dice. I'm going to go about three quarters of the way through the onion. And that just ensures my onion stays together. And that will help me when I finish the cut to, ens to ensure that it's easier to, to produce. Again, I'm measuring, I'm keeping my fingers tucked away. It's very important that all your slices are equal. Once I have my vertical slices and my horizontal slices cut, then I'll turn it the original way I had it, using my guide again to get the amount of width, forward and down, very deliberate, slow cuts, using the way an onion grows to produce a medium dice. The piece at the end I typically will cut and then just perform a little slice to utilize the entire onion. Same technique as the large dice, it's just that the space between my slices is a little smaller. Again, a little pressure only when you need it. There's my horizontal cuts, fingers on top, out of the way. Now I'm going to make my vertical slices, again, not cutting through the onion so it stays together. Forward and down to produce an efficient medium dice. Final demonstration for the onion dicing, we are going to produce a small dice. Again, the same procedures, making sure you're cutting the onion in half, cutting into the root so the onion stays together, hand off the cutting board. Here I'm going to make three or four slices depending on the size of the onion to produce the same width. I'm going to measure the small dice, which is one quarter of an inch by one quarter of an inch by one quarter of an inch. The more square you make your slices, the more square your end product will come out. Again, cutting about three quarters of the way through the onion to keep it together. Ensuring that all the vertical slices are equal space between them. So that when I go across for the final dice, it will produce a very consistent small dice. The small dice and medium dice are the most common cuts in culinary arts. And then you can see the difference. You sh uh, there should be a very major difference between a large dice, a small dice, and a medium dice onion. And then in the end, we just finish up the remainder of the onion to reduce waste. And there you can see on the cutting board the three distinct sizes of a large onion. Again, simple. Do not try to push your knife through. You want to make sure you're slicing the knife. Using the tip of the knife to slide through there. Very important that your knife is sharp. And with a little practice, your speed will increase and you will be more confident in your abilities to produce these cuts.